were filming scenes in the Viper cockpit, did you ever get like claustrophobic or how long did they stick you in there? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, it, it can be a nightmare. Um, there are times when we're in there for, uh, you know, a couple of hours and it's, um, the, the suits, those green suits we wear are kind of, I don't know what they're made of, but they're plastic basically and they don't breathe at all. And so um, the, the analogy that I have is it's, it's as close as I can imagine what it must be like to be a ball of mozzarella in one of those sort of packs that they come in in the supermarket, swimming in, swimming in that semi-cheese water liquid. Um, that's basically what I end up doing in, in, in the flight suit. And uh, you can't hear anyone. You can't talk to anyone apart from if people use the, the mics and talk to you in, in your earwig. Uh, so they just ignore you. And they're, they're talking about when the sandwiches are coming and stuff. And you're sat there. Uh, inside this helmet with a light on and this air, they, they feed you air and occasionally if the air stops, the Katie's blacked out in, inside the thing, um, we'd suddenly start talking to her and there was no reply because <laughs> she was passed out. Um, so it's tough, uh, the Viper stuff is tough but it's also my favorite part of the job because, you know, I grew up watching Battlestar, the original and Star Wars and and Buck Rogers, I just met Erin Gray and I'm completely starstruck. <laughs> um, she's back there, I don't know what I'm doing out here, we should get her out. Um, so, um, yeah, it was a dream come true to get inside a Viper and it's the one thing in the show that looks most similar to the original show, I think. The design of the Viper is pretty iconic and my first day was getting inside one of these things and it blew me away and every time I do it, uh, it's an acting challenge because you have to make these sort of really complicated dogfights work and you just sat there on a studio floor with, with strange people leering in at you and nothing's actually going on and you don't know where the other spaceships are but you, you just try and make it work with your imagination and it's a lot of fun. But a very good question. His character's a Viper pilot and uh, if he doesn't kill Cylons he's not doing his job so I, I do relish that and I, um, I have issues. Um, <laughs> Cause everyone on the show is going on and on and on about how great Starbuck is all the time. And, and they give her like five guns and she goes off and interrogates someone, bashes someone else on the head. Um, hot wires a, an organic creature and cuts its brain out and fuses some nerve endings and makes the thing fly. And she just pulls everything out of the fire every week. So um, whenever I get a chance to pop off a Cylon, I, I relish it, trust me. <laughs>